Morning students, um, we are going to be working on a different kind of art challenge today. You're going to have until Friday. With all the art museums being closed, nobody can go and visit them right now because of the COVID um, crisis. So we are going to recreate some of our own artworks in the comfort of our home and share them. This is a global thing. People are doing this around the world as a way to stay entertained and stay imaginative and stay creative. Um, Petrini and North School, and I believe Paso will be joining in as well, are going to be, they're submitting Flipgrids. You're gonna be submitting your image via a Google form. You'll have until Friday to complete this assignment, though we will have a quick drawing assignment on Wednesday as a partnership with PE, so don't delay. You're gonna choose an artwork to replicate. So if you don't have something in mind, the Google Arts and Culture site is a great place. You can explore art by different mediums, art movements, um, and you can choose something you know, that you wanna recreate. Maybe you want a pop art piece. Maybe you wanna create um, you know, a post-impressionist piece. Maybe you want a more traditional. Maybe you wanna recreate a land art. Um, and there's, it's a great way to explore some different things. Op art might be tricky to replicate in this sense, but it'll give you a good source. So say you want to recreate an impressionist artwork, you would just click on that and then it's gonna give you 3,152 items. So you can just scroll through here and there's all sorts of artworks by different things. So you can find portraits, landscapes, so on and so forth. So that's a great source for you to use. Um, then you're gonna need to find some props, snap a picture, or have your family help you. You can use your Chromebook, or if you have a phone with a camera, um, sometimes those take better photos, um, but it's not required. So you can use your Chromebook. It's just harder to angle it uh, because the camera's on the inside. Uh, this is a replication of the Mona Lisa. Very simple. Put on some clothes as similar as she could find. Found a background. She must have um, some kind of old wall in her house that gave a similar background. Leonardo da Vinci, lady with an ermine. So put on some props there. Two different versions of that. Vincent van Gogh using some face makeup. Straw hat, some kind of backdrop. We got Van Gogh with a, some kind of napkin uh, creating the bandage, found similar clothes. This here looks like the shavings that you'd use in like a hamster or gerbil cage. Uh, we've got Starry Night, so if you don't want to be in the picture. This is recreated with jeans, toilet paper, I know, hot commodity, uh, oranges, celery, and I hate that this thing keeps popping up. Uh, looks like some different art materials there at the bottom to create some of the buildings. This one's made completely out of food. Spinach, strawberries, some kind of, I don't know if it's frosting, uh, to recreate Claude Monet's water lilies. Salvador Dali, this artist actually painted some of these props to go in and recreate um, this landscape. Uh, we've got uh, the piebald horse created out of laundry and Trader Joe's bags to create the ground. We've got Henry Rousseau, tiger in a tropical storm, hiding in a bunch of plants, some kind of sheet as a backdrop. We've got the little thief even getting the dog involved. We've got another Rousseau using uh, the dog in the outside. You got some oranges in there. We've got uh, a Bravo and his dog, Claude Monet, the Scream. Uh, you'll notice that we created a version of this several years ago. It's in the front hall of Hester Junior High. We got Frida Kahlo, Frida Kahlo, Diego Rivera. <laughs> this one's funny, using the toilet paper is the big thing. Uh, Nicolay Elias. Picanoy, portrait of a young woman, uh, Sir Francis Butler using toilet paper rolls. We've got uh, Hoku Size the Great Wave using toilet paper. Uh, Keith Herring created by doing different poses. Pablo Picasso, the old guitarist. Henry Matisse, ooh, that one's scary. They like cover their face there. Uh, Rene Magritte. We've got some Giuseppe Archimboldo. He's a, does these cool 